So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just like leave it on my no, shoulder or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. So Charlie Scout, that doesn't ring a bell. I feel like. Writes for the Guardian. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I think he's been me. to yeah. more Bilderberg events than anybody other than Henry Kissinger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's been arrested. He's been uh, hassled. He's uh, been at every single one of them. What is with Henry Kissinger? Is it like <laughs> he, they talk to him? Life extension and, formulas. Right. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> no, I, well, it looks like uh, Brzezinski eventually ran out of life extension. Uh, I know. Stuff for the uh, transfusions or whatever they were. Doing. I know. I was, that, well, that's the theme of my sign. I'll show you over there. It's it's a tombstone. It's got the two who died. Yeah. On the other side, we got Soros, like with a question mark. You know, <laughs> like here's hoping. Yeah, they're well, dropping like flies. You know, that's just it. Yeah. They got another generation that's coming up. I mean, there's always mm -hmm. you know whenever there's money and power, you're going to find some snake who's going to step up to the plate. Uh, Absolutely. It, so. yeah. Well, you know what's cool is working with a, my local church is um, we've I'm trying to get jazzed about like local politics, you know, and, and that's really hard to do. That's right. Yeah. But that's really the key thing. It is. It's really the key thing. It's really key for us to fight globalism. Mm -hmm. And that was a, the important thing for Donald Trump uh, because he was going to stand there and, and uh, you know, he, he was going to be the obstruction to uh, the, the tactics of globalization that they were using, which were uh, the open borders, mm -hmm. uh, the trade agreements. He right. shut down TPP right away. But mm -hmm. then, of course, Wilbur Ross, his Commerce Secretary, is here. And mm -hmm. Wilbur Ross said the day before Bilderberg, well, TTIP is not dead. Mm -hmm. And so they got real excited about that. Yeah. Is he saying that because he's coming here for Donald Trump and he wants to get their confidence? Yep. Or is he really going to be fighting for that within the Trump administration? Mm -hmm. But when you look at, uh, I'm glad they're Brzezinski. still bringing, keeping it in yeah. the forefront because we know there's always like Pippa, Sip, you know, all the different Pippas. They like hide them, Sorry. and they Thank have you. they have dual really bills. Right, yeah, how you doing? Sorry. No, no. How well, the uh, well, okay, that's the surveillance stuff. But yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm yeah, just saying they exactly. had a like well, a they parallel. Kept going. Bill. They kept yeah. going until they got that through, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's what they're going to do with all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. See, they don't think it's going to end because mm -hmm. they said. Uh, if you look at the Bilderberg notes, mm -hmm. they say, uh, will populism or, or can globalization be slowed down? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, of course, it's already been slowed down with Brexit, with Trump's election. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been slowed mm -hmm. down significantly. So when they, he shut down T, uh, TPP and when he uh, pulled out of the climate agreement mm -hmm. and when he is trying to control the borders, that is a major break. Mm -hmm. being applied to their plans of globalism because those are the three areas that they want to do. They want economic consolidation that they then use for political consolidation as, yep. as Zbigniew Brzezinski, mm -hmm. who just died. Uh, yeah. He wanted to create regional blocks, uh, first to consolidate Europe, consolidate North America, uh, pull in Asia as a consolidation, and then join those three groups together. Uh, jo and, and we were basically the spine of mm -hmm. those two wings. So America was going to have a joint agreement with uh, with Europe and they're going to have a joint agreement with Asia so we gradually pull this together into one government mm -hmm. and all of these economic uh, trade agreements uh, and the currency the common currency that they did that's what they did in Europe they came mm -hmm. up with a common market first yep. and they came up with a common currency which was first plotted here at Bilderberg in uh, 1955 we got the minutes sure. from that uh, 54 years later and in, mm -hmm. in 2009 so uh, that was where they started plotting the currency. They, they did with bankers what they could not do with bombs. Mm -hmm. okay? So they start to create uh, uh, control. They create a trade market. That's an incentive. Then they, they take control with the banks with the currency. Then they create chaos, say we need more political consolidation right. mm -hmm. to handle that chaos. And then they continue to join these blocks together as, as they go along. So that's the pattern that we've seen here, but it's also the people who are here who create the never-ending wars for regime change so they mm -hmm. can get control of the resources and yep. materials and then also so that they can create a massive uh, migration of peoples so that mm -hmm. we're just seeing the results of now throughout Europe as we see all these attacks so mm -hmm. all of that is there so they come in though and they're, what they're saying to you when they say can it be slowed what they're saying is you're not going to stop us mm -hmm. We'll yeah, exactly. That. We'll see about that. They we know that it's forget. already been slowed. Right. Everybody knows it's right. been slowed. They're right. complaining how it's been slowed, mm -hmm. but they're just saying, they're not saying, can it be stopped? Mm -hmm. Okay. They're just saying, can you really even slow us down? That's the arrogance of these people. And I feel like you could easily forget, and what I, um, or we could easily forget. I know you're not going to forget, but uh, it, you guys are doing the job, you and Alex, of just keeping the, uh, um, the, 
reminder of old news, mm -hmm. that's something I don't see in other news programs, at mm -hmm. least mm -hmm. outside of alternative Yeah, media. you got to remember where you came from. Right. You got to remember where you came from because this has, this has a foundation, you know, it's mm -hmm. like I said yesterday. These guys are like ambush predators, you know, they're like a chameleon, mm -hmm. you know, they, they blend in right here, you know, hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. uh, they blend in right here, they hide behind uh, these trees, and you can't see them, okay? And they move so slow, just like a chameleon, move mm -hmm. really, really slow if you ever watch one. Mm -hmm. They move incredibly slowly so you don't notice that they're there. Yeah, or the boiling, they grab you, boiling okay? frogs. And <laughs> that's, that's the tactic of these guys. They've been yeah. building this thing for decades, for mm -hmm. decades they've been building the structure here at Bilderberg. So I did a series of four videos, because we had so many people. People, as we had a lot of people out here and they had the orange barriers, people would stop and say, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And then you tell them it's Bilderberg, and of course they didn't know, they'd never heard of Bilderberg either. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it's like, how do you explain to people like that? So there's a lot of people out there. I was that way once. We were mm -hmm. all were, right? right. Uh, I mean, Jim yeah. Tucker started covering uh, this when Alex Jones was one year old. Wow. And that was yeah. 20 years, 21 years after they had started meeting. Mm -hmm. Nobody had covered them in that amount of time. So wow. for 21 years, nobody looks at it. And... Uh, you know, so it, it's something that I, I just, I did a series of four videos just to kind of give people a little bit of the history to kind of yeah. let them see where some of this has led. You know, mm -hmm. it was in Ottawa in 2006 that Jim Tucker said he had sources saying they were getting ready to take down all the housing market. Mm -hmm. And they and said, one guy <laughs> in there said, uh, it's exactly what they, these, uh, these people deserve, these peons deserve, and other mm -hmm. person said, this is horrible. And there were some people in there who thought it was horrible, I so know. they leaked it to him. Yeah. And then, you know, before it happened, uh, Alex uh, came out with a documentary with Jim Tucker talking about the uh, in-game blueprint for mm -hmm. global takeover. So, you know, it, it's important to remember that these guys have real effects on our lives, yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. have long-term plans. They're very patient, mm -hmm. and they do not want, what they do not want is for us to have independence, freedom, and to make decisions about mm -hmm. our lives, to have ownership in anything. Mm -hmm. You notice that whenever the government starts putting things together, they start talking about stakeholders. Mm -hmm. We're never the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Stakeholders are people like this, yeah. okay? We are the slaves, the serfs, right. and, and we are the property. Do we and actually own in America anymore? No, we you, don't. Yeah, no, we're renting, you got right? your house, you're just renting it from the right. government. Right. You're paying property taxes. That's you don't pay those property taxes, you're today. out right away. Yeah. But they're going to literally even take away that... Um, uh, that that veneer of ownership that we have right now mm -hmm. and the fact that uh, as long as you pay your mortgage as long as you pay your taxes they kind of leave you alone on your mm -hmm. half acre or whatever <clears throat> that's not going to happen they're going to confine you into the cities in very yeah. small apartments they're going to control your movements through the autonomous cars so this is where these people are going because I they want you to rent everything from them they want you to rent your transportation by the ride they don't even want you to rent your car from them they want to rent and own, uh, they want every, everything to be owned by them and they want you to rent it. All the car companies, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they're no longer interested in selling cars. Right. Uh, you know, they yeah. can make more money leasing, leasing. but mm -hmm. the, the Ford executive was just replaced because uh, he'd had great profits. Mm -hmm. Profits were way up. But Wall Street was tanking the stock because they said he wasn't looking forward enough to automated technology to. Mm -hmm. Uh, being a mobility company, and they talked quite a bit about that, but they didn't think that was his focus. So they're replacing him with a guy who is full-on autonomous cars mm. because they know that that God is going forbid, to be an even man. more profitable. I won't even buy one with a GPS. Like I, I actually have an electrosensitivity. Have you ever heard of mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Yeah, I really do. It's not as bad as some people. Like I'm here, but like I definitely, I, I you know, I want to use a cell phone. It bothers me. So they want to like sh force EMFs on you. Yeah. And it, right. it's not healthy for anyone, no, really. No. Well, they're going <laughs> to force everything away. on us. They're going to mm -hmm. use uh, you know, tax and track us by the mile. They're mm -hmm. going to use insurance companies to drive us out of the cars. So the taxes, the fines, they will stop us from driving if we don't at the local. You just talked about you want, that's where we will finish this up because yes. I got to do a report. Yeah, you're but fine. That's where we get <laughs> yeah. back to where you started mm -hmm. at the local level is really the best place that we can. So we have to have somebody like Trump at the top level right. that's going to fight right. them exactly. trying to absorb the United States mm -hmm. at that level. But we have to get our sovereignty back from the national government. Right. And the people who are already controlling the national government is uncontrolled. The national government is too consolidated. Right. And we are not going to get that back unless we get people at the local level. And that's tough right. to do because there's it's all different It's not exciting stories. for young people. Exactly. And, and, and it's hard to cover. We can't right. cover every you single can't. local You can't. I know. Level. I was thinking possible. that too. But uh -huh. you interviewed my pastor, so like, or actually it was Mike Peruca. Mm -hmm. Alex interviewed and voted for him. Yeah. At yeah. least he says. <laughs> and it was like, it was like a wake up to me. And I said to Mike, 
you know, could you, you know, just try to get me jazzed about local politics? I really want to be, but it's boring. Yeah. And almost in a way, like watching Infowars, it, it, it counters that to some extent because you get excited about, like, we're taking on the globalists, you know? <laughs> so, but it's, yeah. you know, the globalists yeah. have always said for the longest time, Think globally, globally and act globally, globally right? I know. And so we have to understand what they're doing yep. globally, what their global plan yep. is, but we have to act locally if we're going to stop it. So okay, I'll yeah. Cut it yeah. with that then. Thank you. Yep. Uh, I'll walk with you too. Okay. Yeah. How's it going?